Alright there folks, you know I gotta shake the script. Welcome back to our channel. Oh, this is feeling crazy. I'm out in, I'm out in New Orleans. Let me get loose. <sighs> Let me get loose. Okay. Hey there folks, welcome back to our channel. The one stop, uh, excuse me, I feel a bit cringy. The one stop shop for all things adventures. Yes, adventures. Except for me, I don't do anything to sleep. <laughs> Today we're in the heart of jazz, gumbo, and Mardi Gras. I'm in Mardi Gras, pardon me. The one and only New Orleans, which I'm a bit afraid right now. Camera's out here. You know, just careful my life. <laughs> and no, I didn't take a wrong turn on Ed Albuquerque, but I did follow the smell of the gay. Did I say that right? This way, this way. <laughs> I gotta get the camera first. <laughs> yeah, baby, yay! Yeah, I made it. Howdy. Hey. Oh, they scared the BBGBs out of me. Howdy. <laughs> ah, okay. The one and only New Orleans. <laughs> Speaking of beignets, <laughs> these little sugar bombs are a must try when you're in town. They're like donuts, but if donuts decide to take a gap year, go to France. Come back with a fancy accent and a beret. Oh. You know, if it was your arm next on you, I'd just eat mine. <laughs> mm. I can feel the gin is cringing. Sorry, Miss Amy. Speaking of jazz, New Orleans is his birthplace. It came out here. The music here is like the city itself. Vibrant, soulful, and it makes you want to dance like nobody's watching. Or it's watching but slightly concerned. For my well-being, that is. <laughs> Quick moment, I know, I think these are cringe and you know, I, I don't know, whatever. Listen, it's hard for me to record here because I'm so afraid everyone's gonna take my camera and run out. One guy tried to when I filmed that clip of me coming from above the beignet shop, he was trying to take my camera, but you know me, I'm, <laughs> big guy, it's on my bed. <laughs> yeah, so bear in mind, I will film this again if you, if you guys love it. I just need a crew, I need a, I need a cameraman. If you want a job, put it in the description. I will pay you in breadcrumbs. Yes, breadcrumbs. Yeah. <laughs> On my way to see the haunted house, I ran into a Nazi and a witch. And she decided to tell my fortune after telling me I could do it the next Mississippi way if I wanted to get into the haunted house. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, do it. I'm doing that. I just have my fortune. I know. And I was a bit weirded out, and I decided to leave. My mother was a pagan witch, my dad was a magician, my grandparents did magic tricks on the carnival cruises. Awesome. I am a real boy, so I'm serious. I've been doing this my whole life. So this is actually uh, passed out through the blood. Stop being so sexy. I am, I am actually I'm actually a relative of uh, John the Feet and Mary United Tubes and Wayne Tubes. I love that. Awesome. If you know anything about these people, you will understand that my blood runs deep in this tiny world we're in. And we have here the Nine of Swords. This is you at the core. It looks weird. The Nine of Swords. At the core, you have been through battles in life. You've been through battles with the world. You are sick and tired of this world. And 
Well, that's that's me. But right now, what is happening with you? No matter how hard it has been for you in the world, you still remain to love. Don't we are? No, we don't. You still remain to love, and you hold those friendships very dearly to you. And you carry that with you wherever you may go. And even if you had to turn your back on the love and things you enjoy, you will do such and still go back right into war. Energy above you, the King of Pentacles. Now this is beautiful. This is a master of money. This is someone who has skills, gifts, and talents. Well, a very healthy tool belt and knows how to use them to survive. You carry that energy with you. In your past, the Five of Swords. You know, small change in it, but still powerful. Indeed. This is like New York, and that's like New Orleans. Except New York wouldn't have the swords, I think New Orleans would. Uh, well, my dad's from New Jersey. <laughs> have you ever looked in my eyes? Uh, have I ever what? Swords. Swords. Okay, so, standing on the Seven of Pentacles. So you have many gifts, skills, and talents, but don't be too set in your laurels that you are not paying attention to new skills, gifts, and, and things around you that you could be learning you know, different ways or even perspectives of the same thing you may know. And the future, moving forward into your future, as long as you can remember that, 10 of Cups, that is abundance. Super abundance, look at the card. It doesn't get better than that, does it? No, it doesn't. Maybe it's just if you get some clothes, huh? No, why would they want clothes? They're in ecstasy. Oh, okay. They're not shamed. Yeah, you're gonna have to go back and pause and think about it. Okay. But, um, moving on. <laughs> that's, that's actually beautiful. Yes, yes. Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is another one. It's a double abundance, dude. Double. Abundance, abundance. Look at this. In a row. Abundance in love and abundance in money. If you could just remember so, not, to, not to close your mind off to things that you don't know or things that you do know in terms of life. Okay. You know, keep, keep your eyes rested on the wall. You know, be willing to fight for the, the right reason. The Ace of Pentacles. All right, so this this is you know don't get caught up in gossip and you know friendship. He said she said bullshit. No gossip. All right, yeah, don't worry about none of that. Don't do it. Don't get caught up in it. Okay. And a message of you know be focused on what you're doing, which is the King of Pentacles, and a message of that and an example. It is going to be hard in the world standing up for what you believe. But in the end, you will have gained someone who will stand right beside you mm. in your battle. Who believes forcefully just as much as you do. The one stand for belief systems, values. Love y'all. And here's the point. But look, it's not going to be easy in the world. Okay? Okay. But you will have to serve the queen. And you will have made the money. And don't worry about the gossip. Abundance in love, abundance in money. If you can just be open-minded and don't get stuck on yourself and you know, think you know it all. So there's a different way to get it. White belt mentality. You know, be flexible, right? And stay focused on what's ahead, but always remembering those that you love and why you're doing this. You know what I mean? You're strong. And you do have the ability to guide you. Awesome. That was amazing. That was enchanting. That was enchanting. I was supposed to be going to a haunted house, but I ended up coming here instead. We we're gonna go grab them some cups. It was very interesting. She got an entrepreneurship part of me, right? And then something about it I didn't like. Just being honest, it was, I don't know. I didn't feel comfortable either with the guy with the Nazi test on his face, but other than that, it was enjoyable, but I feel like, I feel like I didn't, those things are true, but I just don't want to know them. You understand? Like, I just want to control my own destiny. That's how I feel. Um, it's been in New Orleans. I still can't believe I ran into a, a Nazi, a three-eyed wizard, and a witch. A three-eyed gay wizard at that. And... <laughs> and I probably, maybe the witch cursed me, I doubt it, she, I doubt it, she was a sweetheart, but, you know, I, I was supposed to bring them cups, I didn't bring them cups, um, I just couldn't find no cups, and they turned down the whiskey, so, um, yeah, 
But it, it, New Orleans is amazing. It is, it is truly, truly, if I had to sum a word up for New Orleans, it is truly grandiose. Am I saying that right? It's truly grandiose. New Orleans is a grandiose place. That's how I would sum it up. It's a beautiful place. It just feels a bit dangerous, but it's amazing. Where else are you gonna find a, a, a Nazi, three-eyed gate wizard, and a witch in the same place? Where ain't hey, your mom's basement? What? <laughs> New Orleans is known for its haunted history. Ghost, <laughs> vampire, you name it. Howdy. If it, if it goes bump into the night, Damn, this iron, rock hard iron, is here. I was planning on going to a haunted house tour for Nicolas Cage house he bought, but it was locked down and we ran into a fortune teller. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit spooked right now. And if I don't make it back and the guy with the Nazi tattoo on the side of his face gets me for the end of this video, mom, I love you, but you cannot have my comic book collection. <laughs> when I can't have you in the video, Oh, okay. This is just him. In Tennessee. Oh no, she's cheating on the man. Not with me. <laughs> Probably not. You can't really test the food in this restaurant, right? Yeah. So you, you just stand there and... and... <laughs> okay. Uh, I told you I got camera skills. No, she don't. She got the best camera skills I've ever seen. <laughs> You're not even getting your tattoo. <laughs> she got the best camera skills in all of New Orleans. When I'm not here. Guys, yeah, this is totally New Orleans. I'm totally not here. Where are we? Like for real? <laughs> South Padre, Texas. We're in New, we're somewhere around New Orleans. Now you can't visit New Orleans without trying the gumbo. It's like visiting the moon and not bringing back a rock. It's just not done. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's just not done. New Orleans does have a really good gumbo. Gumbo is the hardest stew that is diverse as the city itself. It's got a little bit of everything. Chicken, sausage, seafood, and a little spices that make your taste buds do a second line parade. Yeah. And the secret is the roux. They didn't come from me though. It's a mix of flour and fat. Cook slowly until it's just, just the right color. Y'all want this? I just need to film it. That was pretty much. It's like the foundation of a house. If it's not right, the whole thing's come crashing down. But this, this is just right. It's like a warm hug from the city of New Orleans itself. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna finish this bowl of delicious. And maybe another order, one or two. When is the next time I when is the next time you'll be in New Orleans? Well, that's all the time we have for today's adventure. We've eaten, danced, and madly offended the spirit world. All in a day's work. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Unless the Nazi and the witch come and get me first.